Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day, and today I think we are going to tackle one of the bunkers in this game uh, because I'm in a, an apocalyptic mood. That, that's the plan. <laughs> so this place, there's not really much of a house per se. It's basically just a garage. Obviously, we'll still mow the lawn and all that kind of stuff. But uh, no, no, go away. Uh, if we look at this place, it's essentially a garage with a little room over here that's just uh, like, I guess this is a bathroom. And then if you go down the stairs, it leads into an underground bunker where you can safely, you know, wait out the apocalypse and all that kind of good stuff. So this is what I want to tackle today. We want to make this all nice and workable. Now, the downside of the bunker place is that, is that you really can't do much with the walls. Like, we've got this hallway here, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this because it's so thin. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we can make something work. I'm going to get everything all cleaned up, and then we'll see what we can do. All right, I have everything all cleaned up and cleaned out. I went ahead and tackled the garage right away. I did make the entire upstairs um, brick. In the, it was like a grayish brick-like thing. I don't know. Um, but I swapped it all out for brick, and it was this texture, mostly, right here. And I swapped most of it out for this red brick. Um, but the garage... You may not know this about House Flipper. In House Flipper, the bunkers, they will only be bought by certain buyers, and honestly, they don't care at all about anything other than the bunker itself. So anything we do up here to the garage doesn't matter for the purposes of the actual selling price of the house. With that said, um, I don't actually care about the selling price of the house. I'm not trying to play this like optimally as far as the game goes. I'm just looking to make something that looks cool and it, it is fun. Um, so I'm probably going to do a little bit more here with the garage, put in uh, a bathroom and all that kind of stuff. But mostly what we care about here is the downstairs. And I've got this all cleaned up now as well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the garage and this little bathroom right here. And then we'll get to work on the bunker. All right, I have finished up the garage. Didn't really do a whole lot, just added a couple extra shelves and tools for the bathroom up here. I kept it really simple. Uh, just a shower, a sink, a toilet, and a little shelf. Nothing fancy at all. Uh, then what I did, and this took an extremely long amount of time, uh, is I made all the walls down here this concrete texture. Because I think we're going to go for a very sort of uh, brutalist, um, like, very utilitarian style for this bunker. Just very uh, function over form, so to speak. Like, very uh, practical and not necessarily beautiful, if that makes sense. So that's what we're going with. I went with this darker concrete floor as well. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. Um, but I'm going to start with it and maybe... It, obviously, this is very... Uh, lacking in contrast if we do it this way, but we can add a lot of contrast with furniture and shelves and, and stuff like that so that it doesn't look so gray, because right now it's extremely gray. Um, so that's kind of the plan. And then I added a little wall here for the bathroom so I can fit a shower in right here. So I'm going to start tackling some of these other rooms down here, and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I went ahead and done the bathroom down here, and I went uh, pretty simple, so stuck with the concrete walls, decided to change out the floor a little bit, and then just added in a shower, a toilet, and a sink with some shelves and towels, lots of toilet paper because, you know, it is a bunker after all, and we're prepping for the zombie apocalypse. So, bathroom taken care of. Now, for these other rooms, I have a couple ideas. This is going to be kind of the main room. We'll add, like, a little kitchenette in here, maybe uh, a bunk bed or something like that. You know, so this is going to be kind of the main living space. I think I want to turn this room here into maybe an armory. I need to see how big shelves are, the garage shelves. Let's actually check that right now. If we look at these shelves right here, will they fit? They will not. 
Yeah, if I put them here, they'll stick out from this wall. If they were a little bit smaller, I'd go over there. But instead, we're going to make this area over here kind of our storage area for all of our supplies and stuff like that. And I think I want to turn this room into like a little armory with all sorts of, you know, zom anti-zombie apocalypse weaponry <laughs> and stuff like that. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with this room yet because it's such a weird shape. It's so thin. Maybe just shelves with more storage or something? I don't know. But I think I'm going to tackle the main living space first, and then we'll kind of go from there. Okay, so the main room here, the main living space is done. I went ahead and put in a bunk bed, uh, a couple of different like dressers and cabinets and drawers and things like that. I did put in a TV right here, uh, and then I added some shelves with different food items on it, put in a little kitchenette here, basically just an oven, a microwave, some shelves and a sink, a couple of cabinets, a little dining chair, and I did put in one refrigerator, and then I added this uh, ventilate, this, I think it's called a, what's it called, a ventilator? Um, yeah, the Ventus Ventilator. This is actually, I think, from the Cyberpunk uh, DLC, which is a free DLC. Um, but I figured, you know what, that kind of fits for a, uh, a bunker. So I added that in as well. And this is it. This is the living space. It's nothing super crazy and fancy, but, uh, you know, I think it works out. And now we have to tackle the supply room and the armory. And I think I'm going to do, do both of those together. And maybe I'll tackle this too, because I can't see us doing a whole lot of space or, or a whole lot of stuff with this limited amount of space. All right, my friends, I think I have finished it up. So down here, we've got our little supply room, three garage shelves stocked with all sorts of canned goods and water and medical supplies, food, random boxes, you know, stuff like that. Just make it look like, you know, everything you need is pretty much right here. In here, we've got our little armory. We went with some ammo and military crates, a little shelf, a variety of different firearms, a couple of gas masks, you know, just a nice little armory here to you know, zombie apocalypse. It's it's incredibly important that, you, that you're not caught without proper protection in a zombie apocalypse. And then over here, I just kind of turned this into like a little coat room. Uh, so we've got a couple of hangers on the walls for hanging up, you know, clothes, coats, whatever. Added some shelves, put in some boots. I didn't really know what else to do with this space. But all in all, I think the bunker actually turned out pretty well. It's very gray, but that's exactly what I was going for. So at this point, I think all we need to do is actually sell the house. I guess we'll submit for the garden contest? Yep, okay. Why not? Uh, and then let's see what we can actually get for this house. Let's just see. Three bidders, and this is the... <laughs> I mean, still, you know what? 85000 in profit. Good enough for me. Not too bad. We didn't quite double our money, but we did okay. Uh, so there we go. We have our, our little bunker all taken care of. And I think it turned out like a kind of a proper bunker. I got very much what I was going for. So I'm happy with it. You know, um, some people might think it's a little bit dull, but again, you know, we're going for a very uh, utilitarian style for this particular bunker. And there are other bunkers that maybe we'll tackle in a different style in the future. Uh, but for now, we got to pick out the next house that we're going to be doing. So I think we'll just keep the second house pretty small. We still have a couple of these uh, very small houses to do. So let's just do the burned house. Let's see what we're working with for this one. This one's uh, very, very small so it shouldn't be too much of a task. Basically, the idea is this place went through a fire. Obviously, we got to mow the lawn and all that kind of stuff, as you know. But if we pop in here, we're working... Let's see, we got like a bedroom, sort of a combined living room. This is a kitchen space. So you got a dining room, and then over here is a bathroom. So this is probably going to end up being a one-bed, one-bath house. I think what I'll end up doing is knocking out at least this wall. Maybe I'll end up moving the kitchen to up against uh, like this corner or something. 
But either way, I've got a lot of cleanup and stuff to do, so let me get that taken care of, and then we'll see what we can do with this place. All right, my friends. The lawn has been mowed and taken care of, and the entire house is clean, believe it or not. This is what it actually looks like after everything has been cleaned. So we're going to have to put new floors, new walls, new siding onto the house, all that kind of stuff, and uh, kind of go from there. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this wall for sure. This is the one that uh, kind of like makes the little kitchen area. So we're just going to get rid of this one altogether. There we go. So we'll get rid of that wall altogether and then oh, a little bit missing right here. There we go. Uh, and then this is the space that we'll work with. So I think what I'm going to do is paint this, put in new floors and put new siding on the house. And then we'll kind of see what's next. The house is all cleaned up and looking good. So I put in brand new white siding onto the house. I wish that this siding came in more colors than just white, but it only comes in white. So if you want to do actual siding like this, this is the only one. Can't make it like light blue or whatever, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, so I went ahead and I reinstalled the little sort of fence area here around this front porch and the back. I put in new doors and all the walls are now white. This room is carpeted and the bathroom is ready to go. So it's basically like a whole new house. All we need to actually do now is put in some furniture and decorate the rooms and all that kind of good stuff. And then we'll actually have like a decent little house here to work with. So not too bad. Let's get to it. All right, I've got the bathroom all taken care of and I went with a blue, a very light blue floor tile, blue towels, uh, and a pretty simple design. Kind of went with a little bit of a blue theme. Went with American Elm for the wood here. Um, and that's about it. I mean, it's a very small space. Can't really do a whole lot with it if you want to fit in all the necessities. So this is what I've got. I mean, this is what you get when you're working with a really small house like this. But it gets the job done. Uh, actually, one more thing. Let's, let's add one more little thing here. Let's go rugs. And let's just add a little white rug right there. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, that takes care of that. Now for this room. All right, kitchen and living room are done, and it's a very small kitchen. Uh, actually ran into a little bit of an annoying problem. So there's an outlet here, and there's another one right directly behind the fridge. You actually can't push the counters all the way up against the wall if the outlet is there, and it won't let me get rid of the outlet. So I basically had to do something like this with the counter. I would have rather had it sort of up against this wall in the corner, because uh, it would have left us with more space, but eh, it is what it is. Um, and this is not meant to be a full kitchen. I'm thinking that this place would probably be like a college student, would be my guess. It, someone to live in this in this little place would be like a rental, a uh, little, you know, college student place. So not necessarily a full kitchen. They got a microwave, uh, microwave sink, fridge, you know, that's really all you need. <laughs> Um, would have liked to have fit an oven in somewhere, but it's okay. Over here, I put in a little bookshelf. And then just a little living room area over here with a sofa and uh, couch, TV, etc. So we've got the bathroom done. We've got the living room and kitchen done. Now it's time to tackle the bedroom. All right, bedroom is done. Also, I forgot to mention, there's an accent wall in this uh, kitchen and living room. I went ahead and added a radiator and an air conditioner. And if we pop into the bedroom, we've got a large double bed, a dresser, guitar on the wall, mirror, little desk in the corner. Nothing super crazy here. Uh, added an air conditioner and then a fan for the lighting. So all in all, oh, and I went with different lights in here as well. I use this, uh, I forget what this lamp is called, but it works. Uh, but yeah, that's the house. It's nothing super big. It's a fairly small space, uh, but I think it turned out pretty okay. I'm, I'm happy enough with it. So let's go ahead and try and sell it. Let's go, we'll just submit, probably won't get anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put on auction and see what we can get for this place. Keep in mind, this is a super cheap house. 
We've got a grand total of like 40,000 into this place, which is not a lot. So there we go. And we're selling it to a couple, <laughs> which doesn't necessarily make the most sense. But I think the place turned out pretty well, considering, you know, destroyed by a fire and everything. And now it's actually a livable, proper house. So it works. <laughs> it does look much better than it did. Uh, you got to admit. So anyway, that is another house taken care of. Now, I think if we do the other really small house, I think we actually have time to fit three houses into this episode. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to tackle the abandoned house right here. And let's take a look at this one. This is another super small house as well. Obviously, we got to do stuff with the yard. You know how that goes. But if we pop in here, is this... This is literally the same house that we just did. It's the exact same layout. This is literally the same house. <laughs> Game. <laughs> I feel cheated. <laughs> this is the same floor plan as the house we just did. Oh well, it's fine. We'll do something different with it this time. All right, everything is good. We've got the lawn mode, etc. Everything's all cleaned up. And here's what we're doing with this place. It looks a bit different, uh, uh, as you can tell. So in here, this is going to be the bedroom. Uh, fairly good size. We can fit a bed in here, probably a uh, couple of dressers, you know, whatever. Maybe even a couch and a sofa area if we're lucky. Uh, this is going to be a little office area over here. Uh, speaking of which, I need to put the door in. Uh, oh, that's floor. Doors. Here we go. Just give me that. Let's put that right about there. There we go. So this will be a little office area in here. This is going to be our bathroom in this little corner, real small. And then this is going to be a kitchen and dining room area. Again, pretty small. But really, I'm just trying to do something differently than the last house since the starting layout is exactly the same. And I just want this to be a different house than the one that we literally just did. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to get to it. Okay, bathroom's taken care of. Went with a uh, sort of teal wallpaper, shower, sink, toilet, towels. Very, very small. Very, very simple. It works. Uh, and, you know, it fits everything you need. It's a very small bathroom, but it'll work. <laughs> So now I think I'm going to go ahead and tackle the office. Office is finished and again, very simple. Just went with a little desk, a couple of uh, cabinets over here, a couple of drawers, some shelving, office chair, painting on the wall, little computer setup, uh, family photo, <laughs> you know, nothing crazy, just nice and simple. Uh, for some reason, it's saying it's a storeroom. Uh, it's probably missing like a bookshelf or something for the game to recognize it as an office, but whatever. This is totally fine. I think it's a nice little office space, and for a house this small, it's nice to have a designated office. Okay, so I've got a nice little kitchen and dining room area over here, and then a little bit of a hallway, obviously. Just a, a rug, nothing super fancy or anything. But yeah, nice little kitchen area. We managed to fit in a full stove, uh, an oven, microwave, even got some overhead cabinets, got our little fridge and everything in there. I think it works gets the job done. Added some extra shelving on the wall. Uh, but I don't know. It's a decent little kitchen space. And then, you know, we've got a dining room table and chairs. So all that's left at this point is the bedroom. That's what's next. All right. And now the bedroom is done. I went ahead with a uh, more kind of a rustic feel a little bit. Basically went with uh, wood paneled walls. Went with a single bed so that we could fit it in the corner here and leave room for a couch and a little TV area since this house does not have a designated living room. I wanted to have sort of a little living room area in here in the bedroom. And I just added a bookshelf, a couple of little decorations like a painting and a guitar. And that is the house. So this is what we've done with the exact same space, the exact same uh, house layout that we started with on the previous house, but it turned out substantially different, and I think it's actually pretty okay. So let's sell this one. 
and see what we get. I'll, I'll try the garden contest again, but I doubt... Uh... Okay, there we go. T extra 2.5%. <laughs> Let's see what we get for this one. Looks like we've got about... Uh, 42, 43,000 into this house. And we're going to get about 15 in profit. I'm fine with that. We substantially remade the dimensions of this house. And I think it turned out pretty good. You know, we got a nice we got a nice kitchen in there, nice bedroom. It'll work. I think I'm fairly happy with it. So there we go. Three houses in one episode, a bunker, and then the same house twice. <laughs> and I think I am going to call the episode there. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.